This competition is going to be decided on an aggregate point score, and on that basis, the South, in fact, are marginally ahead by 16 points. So there's everything for these competitors to run for in the rounds to come. And here's the man who's going to be commentating for you during the successive rounds, Eric Halsell. Eric, what do you think of the standard of competition we've seen in these earlier rounds? I think the standard of competition has been extremely good. And, uh, you know, dog match with dog and, and, and handler match with handler, and it's made for a very, very interesting competition. And without taking anything away from the people we've seen, the six dogs that we're going to see coming up next are, are really the cream of, of, of Wales. I mean, all, all the dogs involved are the cream of Wales. I've seen some jolly good sheep dogs during this competition, and I expect to see some more. But the weather may just take a little... may have, have some bearing on it, because sheep don't like rainy weather. And we're getting young sheep, and they particularly don't like rainy weather. It'll be very interesting to see how it works out. And what do you think of the way this course has worked out here at Devil's Of course it's a good one. Of course it's a good one. It would make a national course. It's as good as that for me. It's a testing course, particularly on the driving stint, and sorting the dog from the pups, the men from the boys. But each dog to me has come up to scratch. Well, good. I let's hope that standard's going to be maintained. I'm sure it will. And now let's meet today's competitors. And there's Gwilym Jones, representing the South with a Grand Bitch Queen. And he'll meet Glyn Jones with Wilch Daff, representing the North. He won the toss, elected to go first, and standing at the post, waiting for the sheep, waiting for the ten sheep to be released, and there goes Taff. Wilch Daff, one, if not one of the, the finest dog in Wales. Twice won the Welsh national championship and going out grand swinging round to the left dog can take either side of course go out to meet the sheep ten sheep at the top of the field going very wide tough sloping round well built dog strapping dog <coughs> arrives at the top of the field over his sheep, walks onto his sheep. Gentles them away from the post. Glint, quite confident, can be confident with a dog like that. Clean on his outrun. Judges have given him four points in his, on his outrun. Points deducted for faults. Clean on his lift. Lovely method of gentling the sheep away. Perfect control. The speed is right. You can do something about it if things start to go wrong. Her staff swings to the our left, to his right, on command. Ideally, to bring these sheep in a straight line, right down this field, right between the gates. There, away in the distance, you see the sheep. That's the shepherd's eye view, and there's the straight line that we want, right between the posts, right down to Glyn Jones, standing at the post, the uh, handler, one of the most experienced shepherds, farmers, handlers in Wales, won the 1973 Supreme Championship with Gell. Gell, one of the greatest collies that Wales has ever known, was also a reserve Supreme Champion in 1975. Glyn toured America, been to America, been to Canada, teaching them what it's all about. And he's got these sheep nice, quietly, under control. Steady. 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 Weep. Weep. Steady. Weep. Steady. We're just encouraging him, We're encouraging him as he comes to the stand, tap, end of his tap, fetch. Weep, stand, right, a tight turn around the post. Stand, tight turn around the handler. Right. Stand, stand, stand. And he's dropped stand. two points on the fetch, and that will be for right, just breaking away off the line. We want straight lines, we want tight turns, and those sheep are just romping away a little bit as we start the drive away. And he's going to push them over the dike. I just need that little bit of power to do that. Going grand. Ah. 
Well, Gwilin, we can see uh, Glyn and Boltaff uh, keeping these sheep pretty tight. Is this the way you're going to run the course? Yes, I think we have to, or else uh, they'll separate from one another. And the only way to do is to keep the dog as tight as possible, but not too tight, or else they'll still scatter. How do you feel about this bit of rain that's coming down across oh, the course? Oh, this is smashing, this is. We've been expecting this for the last fortnight. How do you think it's going to affect your handling of the dog, though? Oh, the sheep? It, it won't affect it at all. Oh. No, I don't think so. Pulse Taff, of course, a very experienced dog. Yes, a very good dog. Been the captain of the Welsh team, so he can't be very bad. <laughs> He's doing very well now, too. Yes, because a lot of these dogs are used to handling fives, aren't they, rather yes. than tens? Yes. In an ordinary, everyday trail, it's only five sheep, you see. And uh, very often, if the dog isn't strong enough, uh, he gets a job to handle uh, ten sheep like this. Mm. What do you think of the sheep? Oh, very good, very good. But still, you can be lucky in a bunch of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> you still think there's a lot of luck in it, you? Oh, yes, there's a bit of luck in it. Oh, yes. You see, the same them sheep could have been running. It would make it much difficult, more difficult to catch the second drive if they were running. But they've given him time to adjust his dog to get them through them gates. And he's taking quite a high line. Yes. Up to the gates. Yes, he's not too bad, as far as I can see. I think you've got a fight on your hands here. And Taft's lost in the ditch. Taft went right up that ditch, take it, trying to take that left-hand command as, as Glynn was giving him, but he was going up the ditch. Fortunately, the sheep have stopped back. He will lose points for that. He lost contact with his sheep, but everything was going great up to there. The pace was right, the dog was going right, and the sheep were on the end of his nose. Difficult work because sheep can break. You've just got to pace them right, just be at the right speed, and everything's going right. But that was a bad fault. Duff went right up the dike, right up the ditch, lost his sheep, lost contact with his sheep, and will be faulted for that. Now he's got them safely through the cross drive gate and shaping for a good turn. Back straight back into action, of course. Moment no loss, but straight back onto his sheep and back into natural shepherding. A natural working dog controls sheep follows the boss's commands, whatever Glynn tells him to do, he's quite prepared to do it. Work to the bitter end. He's taken seven and a half minutes of his 15 minutes so far, 15 minutes to complete the course. His work as yet is to finish and complete his shedding. And then the final penning. We've got 10 sheep there. Two, three of those sheep, three of those sheep have collars around the necks. And we want to end up with those three sheep. We want to take the seven sheep away and put the three ribbon sheep into the pen. And a confident piece of work so far. And we've got two coloured sheep just moving forward. Right yes. Dan. Puff, puff, puff goes a little train that we're speaking of, that we saw earlier on in this programme. Right you see how these sheep are, are bunching and keeping together. It's raining on the backs and they don't like it. And they, they like to, they, they love each other so much they bunch up together. They don't want to be separated. Time's ticking away, taking time, taking time. It's four minutes left, only four minutes left. Dan. Just throws his crook at them, as it Dan. were, to right. shake Dan. them up. A fault that the man, or the dog for that matter, should touch the sheep. The man's not allowed to touch the sheep with his, his crook. Dan. And of course, it's a, a cardinal fault if the, if the dog goes in and grips him, goes in and bites the sheep. But. There's a train. A train puffing away through the, the trees. Completes this setting that we're in. What a lovely setting that is. What a lovely setting that is. Real good sheep country. 
Yes. Right the pride of Wales before us, some of the right finest down. dogs in the, right in, the, in the country, right working down. in front of us. Right down. And some of the nicest sheep in the country as well, some of the nicest sheep in Britain. And there they are, he's got his three sheep. Oh, and look how patient and how calm that is done. That is sweet. That is sweet. Clean shed, no faults for that. But time is going, he's only got just under three minutes and time soon goes. But the point is, he's so... <laughs> Calm, so cool, so settled that the time seems to stand still with a dog and a man like this. Experience counts. Oh, it's tough there. Steady tough, steady tough. I don't like the sheep breaking like that. Glyn knows, Glyn knows all about it. Tough knows all about it. Glyn, probably one of the, probably one of the finest sheep dog handlers in the world. His talents have been Come by. Demanded in America, Run. demanded in Canada, Run. where he's taught Run. them an awful lot. Run. Run. Two Run. minutes to go, Run. and to you and I that may Run. sound very short Run. space of time, but Run. the way these Run. sheep are poised, Run. although there's one, it's a little dodgy, Run. and it's a Run. case of daft there, just taking mastery of those sheep. He's got to take Run. control and push Run. them in, and they're in. Oh, now that, that was that was a grand trial. That was a clean pen. That was a clean pen, and he's lost only. If my math mathematics are right, he's only lost seven points. Lost only seven points. Now that that is almost perfection in shepherding. But what a great what a great partnership, Glyn Jones and Wilkes Staff.